it's good to see everybody. And I am so excited. I talk to all three of you often, very often, um, but it's good to see all three of you together. I need to know who can answer this. How did this amazing pairing come about? Because I'm excited for it. They just, they told me that I didn't realize it was even an option to have <laughs> extreme uh, as be my mentor. So I've been a fan of you guys ever since more than words. Thanks, man. <laughs> oh, I love your music. It's been so. such a huge part of our career, yeah, man. It's appreciate been, it's been great to know, you know, that even Blake could make it on a show like The Voice. Like when you meet him, you're like, this guy, he, he's the star. It's unbelievable. It gives me a lot of hope. Yeah, if he can make it on. I mean, yeah. the sky's the limit for us. I yeah. think. <laughs> really? <laughs> I mean, knowing this already, I can see it's going to be a fun season coming up. And by the way, um, I will say this, Blake, congratulations. 20 seasons. This is a 10-year anniversary. My Lord, did we think we'd get here? No, I, I, I remember you were just born when I started coaching on this show I, re I remember holding you as a baby yeah like, someday someday you're going to cover this show and look dreams come true uh you uh, i can't believe uh how fast the, the time's gone by and and you know it's just been a lot of incredible incredible memories i can't believe that uh it took so long to get rid of adam so we could actually start <laughs> having a good show it's, it says a lot about the, the concept of the voice that we were able to survive all those years with Adam on the show. Yep. So the fact that we're still going now and, and stronger than ever, that shows you that he was really holding yeah. us down. Where the, where the star power was. That's why we weren't afraid to have, that's why we weren't afraid to have Dan and Shay as mentors. It's like, well, nothing can damage this <laughs> show. That's true. Not Might as well get those guys. Yeah. yeah. Clearly. You know, you see, it was definitely Adam, you know. Hold them back. Adam. Imagine if Blake wasn't here, how great this show would be. It'd be <laughs> unbelievable. Now, I could just watch this show right here. We're going to have to do a spinoff afterwards. But <laughs> I have, I mean, Blake, why do you think, not in your own mind, what do you, what do you think people are going to say about Team Blake and having Dan and Shay as the perfect advisors? Why are they the best to have oh, right now? Okay, all, all kidding aside, buddy. Uh, you know, they, the battle rounds are literally – uh, you know, two artists coming together and, and, and making music, singing basically a duet. We call it a battle, but it's a duet. Right. And, and these two, I mean, they're obviously, you know, I don't have to talk about their career. It's, it's completely exploded. And, but the way they come together and, and vocalize together and, and make music, I thought that would be a great, a great mentor to have these two because I, so many times – uh, I'm, I'm sitting here in a situation in these battle rehearsals and, and one of the artists will ask me a question about harmony and I don't know crap about harmony. It'd be like, <laughs> Oh, uh, you know, yeah, I'll, I'm going to check on that for you. And, and I never do because I don't know anything about harmony. And, and finally this season, I've got Dan and Shay here who, you know, they, they kill it and, and they're natural at it. And it's, and I honestly, it's already come into play a couple of times and it's it's helpful to have them here it's the nice thing yeah. he said to us ever. there's your sound yeah. Yeah. Use it. <laughs> he practiced that he practiced that um now, dan and shay now that you're blushing hearing what blake has to say about you do you remember your very first impressions of him um when you saw him and the very first time y'all met oh god that's you know, it wasn't you know it wasn't a great experience uh <laughs> no, <laughs> no blake's the best man yes. we've been such fans of blake you know forever sorry blake nah we're huge fans of blake's music incredible and we got to go out he took us out on like literally our first tour the 10 times crazier tour and you know we i don't even think we had a hit on the radio at that point he took a chance on us and we became super close out there and blake i mean as successful as he is is the most down-to-earth humble dude out there and I don't know, just an incredible, incredible person, incredible role model. We learned so much from him, not only on that tour, but connecting over these years. We're label mates and, uh, and friends outside all of this. So this felt natural. And uh, we got ourselves into a little bit of trouble here hanging out today. It's good to catch up. We haven't seen each other in like almost a year now. So yeah. this is amazing. But Blake's an incredible guy. And it's, uh, it's an honor to be a part of his team this year. Blake, I know you are the best storyteller. You uh, hit every mark when you get something out there and let people know what's going on. On tour. It was crazy, I'm sure. Is there one story that stands out with Dan and Shay? Oh, yeah. Uh, 
This is going to be on Uh-oh. TV now, Blake. No, so. I know. Let's go to the next story. No, I'm not going to tell you the story, but. <laughs> he no. has them, though. They're I'll there. tell you, the, the, the thing that, that happened, and it happened often, was, and and I'm going to say this, and you're going to laugh and, and think it's not true, but it, it it is true, and it happened almost every day when we could make it happen, is we played basketball out on tour. And and I don't, and it, me, and, and Shay was always on, on me. I don't know. I don't know if you've seen us standing <laughs> side by side or not. Yeah, uh, but, but he's five eight. You know. But still, <laughs> even even with you know a good hundred hundred feet height, height difference between the two of us, he's still a better basketball player than I am. Like he's like fast and can do all the between the leg stuff and punch you in the nuts on the way by <laughs> you know, before you, you're ducked over and bite your knees. Yeah, whatever. Whatever he's got to do, he's he's a scrapper. And yeah. uh, and I always wanted him on my team. Is my point. So it was like we had we had all all the altitudes covered uh, as a as a basketball team. We did. It yeah. was just across the board. We really covered everybody. Yeah, yeah. We were able to do that. Oh yeah. Blake had the best. Uh, he had the best clothes whenever he was playing basketball. It was something really to aspire to. And now you know I wasn't a dad, a dad at that point. But if you're looking at like full dad mode. That was Blake just every single day. Like he did, it was like, you know, he's doing so well. He was doing well then. You'd think that he could get like, you know, you know, some proper clothes. <laughs> and he was out there in like these just ridiculous like shorts from Walmart and the socks. The tall that white been, tube socks. Tall white tube socks. And you're just like, you I, know, he rocked it though. That's the style. I wasn't though. trying to to like get exercise. I was trying to sweat <laughs> out the night before. Yeah. It was like, that was survival, desperation was, yeah. mode. <laughs> A lot of times, like just tears. Sweat. He would cry sometimes, and I always wondered. And I, it was like, oh yeah, yeah. If my sweat hit you. You, it was you could get a buzz off yeah. of it. Wow. it I was wondering. Mouth. A lot of times, I would feel like I, I was getting just hammered. <laughs> when we were playing basketball. Now I know why. My I'd sweat was going into your mouth. It was seeping in. Yeah, every, no, every time I would sling it into your mouth on purpose. I was just like, it was like a shot. Yeah. I started dunking halfway through, <laughs> which is incredibly. <laughs> Uh, you know, improbable for it to happen, and I was just, I was like, this guy. We lowered the hoop to four and a half feet. Yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> we're gonna have to include that. Which detail. was still, which was still a jump for me. I was still having to really get up there. Now, do you see what just happened and transpired off of that one question, Blake? You're awesome. All of you guys are amazing. You know this. Um, I cannot wait. I know there's got to be footage of you playing basketball. If there's not, please make that happen. Um, I, I have to talk career for a minute, and uh, I want to just get one. Uh, answer from you you both what was a turning point in your careers um and what was the one song or opportunity that you think really changed everything when you look back on it i mean i could say i mean blake is being so kind to us but i will say this honestly when you're kind of first starting out somebody has to take a chance on you and to be able to get on a big tour is a is a huge deal and this is kind of you know full circle being back here and Every single time we, you know, we get to hang out and catch up, it's, uh, it's always fun because it really was, that was a big moment for us. You know, we were out there with Blake and being able to open up that tour was an incredible opportunity for us. I mean, that's, you know, even if, you know, you have a little success, it's still hard to get on a big tour and it doesn't get any bigger than, than Blake Shelton. Literally, he's, he's massive. He's, he's a tall, huge person. Sure. <laughs> uh, and so it was, it was amazing, honestly, for him to take us out there. And it wasn't just the opportunity, but it was also what we learned. You know, people ask us like, you know, what do you, what do you learn from, from artists? Or do you, you know, do you watch other artists? And like God's honest truth, Dan, and I would go out there every single night we get to watch Blake. Obviously he's got all the hits in the world. And, you know, we were huge fans before, but being able to watch him as artist and not just how he performs on stage, he's an amazing, you know, artist and he's great on stage and he knows how to interact with the fans, but also how he treated people was probably the biggest takeaway that I had uh, for how he treated his openers and, and the people that were around him. I mean, he treated them like, like royalty and everything that we, anything we needed at all, you know, he was always taking care of us. And we were able to take that and, you know, into our future tours, you know, into people that opened up for us. And we had no reason to ever, you know, have an attitude of like, oh, we're really something, you know, because we, we knew we had seen the biggest artists in the world treat people like they should be treated. And that was, uh, that was very kind. So wow. we took that into, uh, into our career and it's definitely paid dividends. That was, a, that was a huge, you know, turning point in our, our career being able to go out there and, and learn so much from him so what so the song tequila that had nothing that to do with no, no, not just no. sustain <laughs> it's sustained uh, from that point you know after my basketball career i mean after blake <laughs> he would talk about it and there i had so many offers from UPA, it's unbelievable. <laughs> they'd be like you know we want you and i was like i can't right now i'm on the blake shelton tour right, like, right. well when you, you get done with that you come talk to us 
Um, so, you know, they were like, look, it's you or this new guy named Steph Curry. And I was like, let Steph have a chance. <laughs> look what happened. Yeah, and look what happened. Yeah. It made two dreams come true. Made two That's dreams right. come true. It's yeah. unbelievable. That's hard to do. That is hard to do. Uh, Blake, hearing their story, obviously that's amazing that you guys can share those moments. Um, for you though, do you remember a turning point when it clicked and you said- I did a, I did a cover of uh, Lick It Up by Kiss. That, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Everybody's like going, man, I don't remember him doing up, Lick like... It Up. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know. You know, I think, I think the turning point, I mean, I, I can't look, we're all, we would have, I would have to go back before anybody's ever heard me on the radio to really talk about the, the big breaks, I think. Yeah. Uh, but I would say, you know, once I, I had some songs out and stuff, you know, you kind of hope to, to survive and you're only making it to hopefully your next song that makes it on the radio. That's another year's worth of work. That's how you thought, you know, when I started like, man, we had that song went to 12. That's at least going to be, you know, uh, the, the noon slot on we fest next year. Right? <laughs> uh, Last stage. Yeah. So uh, I, I would say that the big turning point obviously was becoming a, a coach on the voice. And, and, and at the time, honestly, I didn't know if that was going to be, you know, something that people made fun of, or if this show was going to be a huge hit. I mean, the idea was so stupid activity like they sent us this this video of the of what the show was going to be you sit in these chairs with your back to the artist and you hit a button and and now that seems tame compared to to what we have on tv and now we're coming out i see the show on tv the other day where they're wearing these big costumes and the hamburglers coming out and you gotta guess <laughs> who's, who's, in the, who's in the day <laughs> yeah it's like wow the voice seems pretty down in the middle now you know what i mean so uh i, I just uh there's, there's no question that was the difference maker for me, you know. Yeah. Um, and, and, and the cover of Lick It Up yeah. by Kiss. Yeah, well, so he's, which he's going to do know. again, which was he just told me he was doing a, a revamp of that since it was so successful. <laughs> They're like, oh, you want to see when I'm, I'm young just, and I did that. Now that I'm super old, I'll it's get a remastered. It. It's a remastered yeah. version. Yeah, yeah. I just want some cover art for that. Okay. All right. So, <laughs> Dan and Jay, <laughs> I have talked to you about this um before i know we had an in-depth conversation uh what a couple months back but i know that you've had some big moments too at weddings you know some big celeb weddings Haley, justin sophie sophie and joe's wedding um and just doing all that blake Thank you, Gwen. Thank yeah you, you got one coming up are, are, are you gonna hit uh hit up dan and shay they're right next to you I don't know. I don't know the circles of people that they run in and we're trying to be super safe right now. And those two, <laughs> those two guys, I, I just don't know if I can, if we can trust them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's responsible. Uh, yeah. So we're Smart. just, we're trying to be safe. So, you know, I think we would be more apt to just have a go to the courthouse and she and I get married than have to invite Dan and Shay. Yeah. That's a good uh, one. So <laughs> Smart. Smart. Yeah. That's why he we're is. Trying to be is. safe. We're just trying to be safe. <laughs> It's nothing personal, guys. Just yeah. safe, safety. Um, it feels personal. I'm, I'm hurt. <laughs> I'm angry. I'm about to jump off this ladder. In right now. <laughs> Keep it with that. I have to check in with you, Blake, because it's all over the headlines. You want to, before your wedding vows, you have a vow to yourself, correct? Mm -hmm. You want to drop some LBs before saying I do. Are we working on it? What's it looking like? And, I mean, why, and can I answer this one? <laughs> why would you say? <laughs> Who wouldn't want this for their wedding picture? Uh, <laughs> you know, I knew I, I did. Uh, I did. Uh, uh, Luke Bryan has some kind of a stupid podcast or something now, and I told him I would be on it. And so I, I did the interview with Luke, and I should have known that he was going to. There was not going to be. You know how you ask very professional, interesting questions. His are like, you know, how's your poops been? And <laughs> You know, like, and are you going to lose any weight finally? Like, and so I should have known that it was going to be a, just, a, uh, you know, a, one of those kind of interviews that was going to come back to haunt me. And he said to me, he goes, so are you going to lose any weight before the wedding? And what am I going to say? No, <laughs> which we know I'm not. Yeah, we're like, this but is, I'm this just saying, just I'm right. going to say, no, I'm not. Yeah. So I'm, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to start. Smart. 
yeah, yeah I'm, gonna, I'm gonna call you and get who find out who your trainer is and this guy right here it, i'm a trainer <laughs> really that's, yo that's 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 <laughs> why i don't have any time for myself <laughs> We're super busy training dan i'm a, I'm a, a sacrificial you know, okay. guy. what a guy wow what a guy. spends all his time on dan yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I, that's the sound bite yeah maybe <laughs> i'm i'm just hoping to maybe catch him i uh you know, maybe the stomach flu or something before the wedding. <laughs> maybe a two-week stomach flu. Something mild. Something that yeah, yeah, yeah not, it's like, not really my choice. It's like yeah. oh, I've been, you know, yeah. lost the old-fashioned flush. I couldn't eat yeah. for two weeks. That's what I'm hoping for. Yeah. I think you look great, but you know, do what you got to do. Um, and 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 I think the one thing the world needs to know is. If you're trying to work on you, you're, uh, Gwen, by the way, all these videos she's posting, are you in awe even more? And then you fall more in love every time you see this woman? Because by the way, it's like she's aging backwards. You know, I, I, it's unbelievable. And I, I've, I was hoping that somehow by us getting married that I would somehow inherit some of her genetics. Wouldn't that be great? Like where you just wake up in the morning and flex, yeah. flex your stomach muscles. Could and, happen. And you know, re reach out your long legs and stare at them like I, I don't understand how how it's scientifically possible to look how she does. And it's just and I, and I'm there. I'm there with her. And I'm going. I I can't get used to it. I, I can't I can't take it in. You know what I mean? It's unbelievable. And especially and it's just such a and it really stands out when I see pictures of she and I together. It's just she. You really that realize really, it really puts it in perspective. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> it's like, well, it miracles, the whole miracles up situation just, yeah. in perspective. It really, really it proves the existence of God. I'll tell you that. <laughs> yeah, where you're just like, boy, I don't. This is really a miracle. It's incredible. Where it's just like she's aging backwards, and you're, yeah, you're well, going, you're going there real quick. Some people may say it proves the existence of the devil. <laughs> also, <laughs> that's right? true. That's true. <laughs>